hi besties, thought I'd come on and say hello. But look at this situation. What does one do when one's reading to one's little babies on the bed and they both fall asleep? Do you gently try and remove them from the bed and lay them back in their crib? Or do you let them sleep where they lay? Especially if you've got other things you need to be doing like ironing and cooking and cleaning. Or do you just get your own book, a big girl's book, and lay on the bed with them and read? Well these two have sold their hops, as they say. We were right in the middle of a cute little story, look. It's actually a Christmas book, but it's so cute. We read it anyway. Freddie's Christmas Letter. We was reading that. And they've gone to sleep. What can I do? Look at them. As my Jacob Rubin over here. He's got his bed clothes on at the moment. Because he's been a bit of a sickly boy. I don't know. He might be coming down with a chill. But it's got tractors and diggers. And buildings and cars. And all kinds of things on his little bed suit. And over here fast asleep we have Ray Ray. She's wearing a pink all-in-one baby grow and as you can see it's got fitted mittens that's to stop her scratching. I need to cut her nails they've grown a lot. But she's fast asleep and the all-in-one baby grow has got a lovely little rara skirt attached and it does actually say on it Princess Belle. So I suppose it is a bit of a Disney Monday outfit. But they're both fast asleep. It's very quiet here. All the other babies are also having a nap. So the nursery's terribly quiet, I must say. But I don't mind, because sometimes it's nice just to catch up with you besties without the kids butting in. I went off downtown today. This is just a chat. Went to the doctor's, had some blood tests done nothing to worry about just the normal they need doing check up because I'm on thyroxine for my thyroid which I don't have because they removed it um, so I went and had that checked and I always get quite upset about having that done I am NOT a lover of having blood drawn from me but I go and I'm brave and I always celebrate afterwards by treating myself to a nice cup of tea in the local cafe the Dice Cafe. Young lady runs it and she has young helpers in there. People work for her. So it's a very young, happy and vibrant place to be. So it always puts a smile on my face. And not only that, I am one of these people that does like to buy second hand things. And this young lady has portioned off part of her shop and she lets people rent sections of it to sell goods that they have to sell. So some of the goods are hand knitted. Some of them are antiques. Some of them are not yet antiques, but are quite fascinating. And I enjoy that. They sell things like flat irons, like my mum had when I was little. And she used to put them on top of the Rayburn to get warm before she cut, um, ironed all the cotton sheets. Some of the clocks in there, it's amazing to see. They've got some lovely clocks. I mean, nowadays, sometimes, I think half the young kids today think clocks only ever ran on batteries. But, of course, we used to have to wind them up and make sure they were working before you set your alarm. So some of those clocks were pretty amazing in there. I enjoyed seeing them. And she's got a whole collection of little, beautiful, like, corgi cars and things like that. And there's tractors, which I think by now most of you know I have a passion for reasonable prices too some of them still in the boxes that originally came in which is all the best for collectors i guess jewelry loads of jewelry some of it cheap but tasteful some of it more expensive but very good for what it actually is they she has some books not many because they're more of an antique type and then you go downstairs into what we call the dungeon which is really just another room and we go into there and she's got some lovely bits in there a lady comes in with what I would call really nice clothing second hand but really nice and you can pick up things in there like 
you'd go to a shop and pay 50 60 for and she's picked them up second hand I presume but some of them she said were her own and she's selling them for 10 12 pounds you cannot moan at that no made me think because I've got a wedding to go to next month at the end of the month thinking what I should wear only the evening do which I think is wonderful it's a very dear friend but you don't want to overdress but you don't want to underdress so you never quite know what to wear baby's still asleep fast asleep that's good news for me so it's very difficult to know and down in the bottom bit she's got some beautiful boxes and when I talk about boxes I mean like things you'd have for jewellery boxes but I haven't got the jewellery sections inside sorry I jubbled you a bit because I'm sitting on the bed keeping an eye on the babies I also went round and did a look at the chat tat shops wasn't much but my husband I spotted this little toy here can you see him he's a tortoise ah, the tortoise is on his back help help <laughs> um, this little tortoise look at his cute face and so I got my husband to purchase him for me 20 pence who can moan at that but ready because he actually does giggle why a tortoise would giggle I do not know but be ready here we go once more and after my trip to the doctor having blood taken that really put a smile on my face I just thought he was cute and I thought the babies would like him so I brought him home and they were playing with him for a little while while we were reading the story and of course as you see fell asleep so Jacob Rubin fast asleep Ray Ray Sienna Ray but I call her Ray Ray fast asleep oh yeah it sounds like grandma's gonna be fast asleep so I think I'm gonna leave you and I'm gonna lay down here with the kids oh what a stretch lay down maybe have an afternoon nap I love you all take care I see you soon kisses love you my besties bye